Jeremy, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about this this project. It's been kind of a large and long scale project that uh, the Silver Spur has been involved in, and uh, tell us a little bit about the background and what and what you expect to achieve. Well, it started uh, through a research project with Dr. Scott Lake at UW and then Ken Fletcher, uh, the late Ken Fletcher at Silver Spur. And we've just kind of carried forward their vision and expanded upon it in terms of the genetic research. And we found really that there's a, a, a people part of this that might be the biggest benefit of all. Uh, Pfizer, UW, Silver Spur, um, even had some of the AI companies involved. Uh, but really what we found is, is what we've learned from a large scale artificial insemination uh, project on a commercial basis, uh, it can be very practical. And then when you put all those groups together, sometimes your research that you find out in the industry um, isn't very applied or very applicable or practical. And this has become a very practical project. Um, and when you can have groups such as industry um, companies and universities and ranchers working together, I think you begin to see some real application to some projects. This year we'll breed uh, about 2,000 heifers and what we're trying to do is not only find cavities, but also cattle that have muscle and then for our higher altitude elevations, cattle that have altitude tolerance or PAP tolerance. So all of those things combined come into play and ultimately the cattle for us have to work both in the feed yard, uh, on the rail, in the pasture. They have to hit all targets. And if we can group those cattle where they calve in a synchronized manner, that helps our guys in the operations and putting all the genetic part of it together helps as well. I understand you're using uh, some DNA testing with uh, and one, of, one of Pfizer's roles in the, in the project. and. Uh, in the long term, uh, I understand you can you hope to use some of that information linked to some of the, the uh, more traditional genetic information in uh, in really fine tuning selection. Right, we have a goal at Silver Spur that we want to identify the bottom third uh, of the cow herd in terms of production and eliminate that bottom third, so that will in, in effect uh, improve the profitability of the cow herd by eliminating um, the least profit oriented cat oriented cattle. And, and that genetic test, we hope that that will help us to do that. We'll uh, pull hair on all the heifers uh, that we breed and then their steer mates as well and then began to have a genetic component uh, to this research project and Pfizer's been uh, really supportive and, and what we would like to do is there again identify genetics that work as well as genetics that don't work.